Okay, now we're also recording. Are we ready? Are you ready? Let's begin. Um, okay, we're good. Bulgari's Aether High Memories. The perfect date. It was near Christmas break, and everyone at Aether High is enjoying this day. The climate was cool, the leaves covered the ground, and everyone was wearing their coats and warm clothing. Unlike most school days, this was a 60% day, meaning that classes were shorter and everyone got off earlier than normal. In the final class of the day, Bulgari lounges in his seat as he was finished with all of his work for the day, and he feels very calm. The room was full of chatter. Silvanos was doing his usual workouts in the back of the room. Forceburn was scribbling furiously in his notebook, but the enlightened electric wolf thinks of something to do after school is out for Christmas. With Maple directly in front of him, he taps her shoulder. Yes, Fulgari? the raccoon asks, giving a friendly smile. Maple? I don't usually do this often, but... Fulgari replied, Would you like to head somewhere with me after school ends? Maple shows surprise and blushes while retaining her happy mood. Well, because you respect me, do what I ask you to and not fool around as much as everyone else does. Yes, I will go with you somewhere nice. After saying that, she went from surprised to joyful in seconds, as she seems to have a soft spot for Fulgari, and Fulgari knew this quite well. The two stared into each other's eyes and let out a smile. Seconds later, the bell rang to head home, and all of the students populated the hallways, packing up their belongings and heading to their rides. However, when Fulgari and Maple were the ones were one of the only few left in the hallway, the wolf's good friend, Zetterburn, placed his paw on his shoulder and looked him in the eyes. Wherever you two head to, I wish you good luck. The lion spoke, grabbing his belongings shortly after before beginning his trip home. Fulgari waves goodbye, and once Zetterburn was out of sight, he and Maple pack up and make their exit. So, have you thought of somewhere we can go? Maple asks the wolf, tilting her head slightly while waiting for an answer. I think I do, Fulgari answered. How do you feel about us two heading to a restaurant in town? It has been a while since I've had food like that, so that'll be a great choice, she accepted, giving her wolf boyfriend a hug and caressing his cheek. And you know what they say? The wolf asked, waiting for three seconds before adding, then it's a date. The two of them laugh and enjoy this journey. Fulgari's fur begins to glow a tiny bit brighter than dim and this added warmth while he and Maple hug. Minutes pass, and Fulgari thought he forgot his money. Fortunately, when he felt in his pockets, he had his wallet with him. When the two of them arrive at the restaurant. Now, this restaurant was magnificent. The chef's cook the dishes in front of the customers, and the food is said to be extremely well prepared. Welcome, the guy at the entrance greeted them. 
How many are we serving? In this case, you'll be serving two, the wolf replied. And so the one at the entrance led the two to an open and well-cleaned area, and they both take their seats. This is going to be so exciting! Maple cheered. Thank you for choosing this place, Fulgari. It's my pleasure, Maple, Fulgari replied, holding her paw. That was when appetizers were served. What do you two wish to drink? The waiter asked. We have a wide selection of drinks, ranging from water to soda to stuff that'll make you tipsy. Well, or actually, well, we're high schoolers, so no alcohol, Maple reminded before answering. I'll take some water with lemon, and I'll be taking some diet soda. The wolf answered, got it. The drinks are on their way. The waiter replied, and as soon as the drinks were written down on the paper, he strides into the kitchen where the drink machine is, and after 15 seconds, he comes back with their drinks. Ready to order? The waiter asks Maple and Fulgari upon returning and handing them their beverages. Sure, the wolf replied, smiling. How about you, Maple? Ready? Oh, yeah, the raccoon answered. I'll have chicken tenders and fried potatoes. When it was Fulgari's turn to make his order, he takes one final look at the menu, and he saw what he what looked like a good-sized burger. Thus, he finally decides to have this burger with a side of fried potatoes. The waiter swiftly writes down the, their orders on the ticket and heads into the kitchen once more. This was when the real waiting game began. Sorry if I took a bit long, Fulgari replied, looking into Maple's sweet blue eyes and holding her paw once more. <laughs> oh, Fulgari, Maple giggled. Pay that no mind. I knew you were just taking a moment to look. The two have a moment together, exchanging hugs and kisses while admiring each other dearly. During that moment, the sunlight recedes, and the night sky slowly begins to appear. They were loving every minute of this date, and after the ten-minute wait, their food has been served. Enjoy. Bon appetit, the waiter said, handing Fulgari and Maple their plates before leaving their table. Upon taking their first bite, Fulgari was amazed at the quality of the beef in his burger, and Maple was astounded by the crispiness of the chicken tenders. Just knowing that, they feel happy that they both chose this restaurant. The enlightened electric wolf and the forest raccoon have casual conversation as they eat, drinking from their cups when the thirst hit them, and they both had a great time. The food was so good that they both happened to absolutely clean their plates quickly. Not long after, Fulgari felt his phone vibrate in his pocket, and he grabs it. It was a text from his mum. It read, Fulgari, where are you? It's getting late. Upon reading the message, he promptly responds, Sorry mum, I'm at a restaurant with Maple. After delivering that text, he puts his phone on sleep mode and places it back in his pocket. And, as if on cue, the waiter returns to check on things. Are you two doing all right? he asked. Are the two of you ready to pay? Sure, Fulgari answered, whipping out his wallet and placing his money down. Need more? Your total is thirty-five fifty. the waiter spoke. The wolf, feeling that what he pulled out of his wallet was a tad bit short, grabs three more notes from it and leaves a good tip. Ready, Maple? Fulgari asked, getting up from his seat and brushing his lap. Yes, she replied, 
also getting up and brushing herself off. I had such a good time with you. Thank you, Fulgari. We should do this again sometime. The two head out the entrance, and they were greeted with the chilling breeze of the night. Luckily, they had their coats and were warm. They both kissed each other and said their farewells before beginning their journeys home. Upon arriving home, Fulgari's mum hugs him and gives him a warm welcome. Well, I'll answer you before you ask. I had a great time over there, the wolf spoke, feeling satisfied and excited. Soon after, he went to his room, got dressed in some comfy clothes, and went to bed. During his sleep, he began to realize something. He remembered that Maple was serious with everyone during the times of the homecoming dance, and it seems that she has softened herself for him because of his nobility. The only real question now is, will this evolve into a lifelong relationship? We may never know until the future arrives. Hey, <laughs> we got someone in chat. Well, um, well, this may not really be well listened to on Twitch, but let's hope that YouTube has, um, like the YouTube side of things is, um, really, um, nicely done. I've been streaming for 17 minutes, 10 seconds, right, for, as of right now. And for recording, I've only been recording for, like, 12 minutes, 25 seconds. So, um, yeah. That was the perfect date. Thank you for tur for tuning in, YouTube. And for Twitch, I'll be streaming a little bit longer. So, um, yeah. <laughs>